Hello, welcome to my video. I'll be showing you four useful tools if you want to perform some link building outreach analysis. So perhaps you're considering asking other similar websites to list your link on their website, especially if they have a links or resources section. So the first tool is Google, obviously. The second tool is a little Google results bookmarker. It's a JavaScript that somebody put together. I'll, sh I'll be showing you how to use that shortly. Very handy. The next tool is something called remove duplicate items. It's a free tool that you can find online and it's for sorting duplicate URLs from a list. And the next tool is something called URL opener. So when you've got a list of plain text URLs, you can paste them into this box, click submit, and it basically just turns them into uh, hyperlinks. So the first tool, Google, I'm going to enter my query, which is small business technology blog. They're the kinds of websites that I'm interested in analyzing for outreach or competitive reasons. But I'm going to adjust my search settings as well, and I'm going to make it display more results per page, 100 in fact. So save that, say OK. And now, instead of the usual 10 results or so, we've got 100, and I'm going to append my search, res my search query with in URL colon links. Now that means that I'm looking for websites related to the phrase small business technology blog, but in the link URL, in the URL, I'm looking for the word links. So that suggests that all these pages are about small business technology resources or blogs. They're the kinds of blogs that I'd like to be listed on. So we can scroll down and yeah, you can see there's a hundred there. And this is where we use the Google results bookmarklet. This is a very simple tool. There's quite a, f a few floating around online, but I just happened to come across this one. All you do is you click and you drag to your toolbar and you drop it there. Okay, that's it. That's all you need to do. Leave it there. Now you return to the SERPs and then you click that button and it opens a new tab. And we've got a list now of the SERPs, but just as links, none of the meta descriptions or titles. Ignore YouTube and Blogger at the top there. Google insert that because this tool is using the Google API. So I guess Google are inserting adverts for their services. Anyway, scroll down all the way to the bottom and right at the bottom, you've got a plain listing of those URLs. So this is just plain text. Highlight and copy those right click copy and then what you need to do is minimize and go to your desktop create a, a notepad or a text document or something and give it a title a meaningful title this is one I made earlier and um, I'm going to overwrite it actually just to demonstrate it a, Again, I'm using Notepad++. I use that because each line has a number next to it, so you can see how many URLs you've got in the document at any one time. So I've pasted those in, and I'm going to shut that down. And then I'm going to go to the next page, page two. So we've got the first 100 results. Now I want the next 100 results. And, yeah, that's 100 results. Click simple google results again it opens a new tab again you scroll down again and once more you highlight the plain urls minimize go back to your your word uh, your notepad document and paste in don't know why that says javascript void better get rid of that i'll get rid of that later so back to the search results. Now I'm going to alter the query a little bit. I'm going to put resources instead this time. So we're running a very similar query. And now I'm looking for URLs 
about small business technology blogs and in the URL is the phrase the word resources and that suggests that again these blogs and websites are linking out to small business blog resources and yet we scroll down we grab the URLs once more copy go back into our notepad and paste yeah and then on to the next page of results so this is another hundred results of small business technology blog resources click simple Google results scroll down grab the URLs and copy them to the clipboard and go back to our notepad and paste them in shut that down okay so we're done with that now get rid of that and actually we're done with Google so we can get rid of that as well so this is the next tool I was talking about remove duplicate items now what we want to do yeah, just search for Ontelo remove duplicates and it should be the top result in the search engine um, we want to paste all of those URLs in our notepad into that tool so you want to highlight all of them select all or control a and just take get rid of that because it's got a javascript appended to the end of it we've got approximately 402 URLs there so remember that 402 delete that space select all copy and paste them in and click remove duplicates and now that's a list of deduplicated URLs because inevitably there would have been some of the same URLs in there so paste these in so it's what's that 402 and we're going to paste in the next lot and it's 389 so yeah that's certainly removed a few and now we can copy that list and now we shut that down and we go to the next tool which is urlopener.com paste them in and click submit and it generates a temporary session and they're just basically they've been turned into hyperlinks so and now you can just go through the list and check each website and see if it's to your liking and think whether or not you could maybe reach out to them and ask if they want to collaborate or if they want to link to your blog your website and unfortunately this is where it gets more manual because you're going to have to go through these manually and recompile the list you're going to have to editorialize and throw out the ones which are certainly you know of no use i'm sure i saw a new york times url in there and if some no-name blogger reaches out i don't think they're gonna uh, you know um, be interested so thanks for watching and i hope it was useful